Good morning, students. Let's start with page number 82, Act 2, Scene 9. We were uh, on the same speech where Portia says, now, uh, Prince of Aragon has chosen the silver casket. He opens it. Portia, to long a pause for that which you find here. So she is somewhat making a kind of a fun of Prince of Aragon that you've taken a long pause just to find what you get here. Aragon, what's here? Now, Aragon is surprised to see the portrait of blinking idiot. Presenting me a schedule, I will read it. So what he got, the portrait of a, uh, I'm sorry, the portrait of a blinking idiot rather than the portrait of Portia. Presenting me a schedule. Now this uh, fool, this idiot has got a schedule or a scroll. How much unlike art thou to Portia? Means how much different are you from Portia? How much unlike my hopes and my deservings? So he's saying that how much there's a difference between my hopes and what I deserve. Who chosen me shall have as much as he deserves. Did I deserve no more than a fool's head? So he's questioning, this is, is it like this is what I deserve? Is that my prize? Are my deserts no better? Means are my deservings no better? I just deserve a fool's head. Portia. To offend and judge are distinct offices and of opposed natures. So she says here that, see, <clears throat> to commit an offense and to pass a judgment on an offense are two different things. Means it is easy to say, oh, this is wrong, that is wrong. It is easy to judge, you know. But, you know, to commit an offense and then to pass a judgment is, you know, there's a difference. Arrogant. He reads. Now, he must have got a scroll. He is reading what is written on the scroll. <clears throat> what is here? The fire seven times tried this. So, he's reading, he is actually reading what is written there. That the fire has actually purified silver seven times. Seven times tried the judgment is. And in the same way, your judgment has been tried seven times. That did never choose a miss. And of course, you, you know, uh, whatever you chose is not wrongly chosen. Some there be that shadow's kiss. Means perfect judgment, like whatever you've made the judgment. Because of that, you can only embrace shadows. You can only get shadows now. Such have but a shadow's bliss. And people who choose silver casket or people who have... This kind of judgment can only get a shadow's bliss. There's a fool's life, I wish. And of course, there are fools like you. Silver over, silvered over, and so was this. Of course, your choice, your, you know, uh, judgment was like as if you went for the uh, that silver color and you thought that maybe the thing is wise. And so was this, take what your wife you will to bed, I will never be your, I'll ever be your head. So now whatever you choose, whoever you take, but I'll be your, I'll be acting as your wife. You can only take me with you, not Portia. <clears throat> so be gone, you are sped. Means so you can leave now because you are finished. Still more fool, I shall appear by the time I linger here. So Prince of Aragon, he feels as if he's a fool that he's hanging out here for so long. He feels that he should leave as soon as possible. With one fool's head, I came to woo, but I go away with two. He says here, I came here to impress Portia with one head of my own, one fool's head. But now I'm going back with two fool's head. But sweet adieu means goodbye. I'll keep my oath. I'll stick to my oath patiently to bear my wrath. And patiently I'll have to bear my sufferings. Exuant, arrogant and trait. Means uh, arrogant he leaves the scene and also his attendants. Okay, so let's continue. Finally, Prince of Aragon, he leaves the scene. Portia, 
Thus hath the candle sent the moth. So she says here, so finally another moth has been burned down by the candle. Oh, these deliberate fools, when they do choose, they have the wisdom by their wit to lose. So she says here, these deliberate fools, the problem with them is the kind of intelligence, the wisdom that they have is strong enough to make them lose. The kind of reasoning or logics they use helps them in losing. Nerissa, the ancient saying is no heresy. So she says here, there's an ancient saying and it is not at all false. Hanging and wiving goes by destiny. So when a person is to be hanged or when a person is to be married, it goes by destiny. Portia, come draw the curtain, Nerissa. So she tells Nerissa to draw the curtain to close the place where the caskets were kept. Enter a servant. Who enters in now? A servant. Servant, where is my lady? Portia, here, what would my lord? So she's actually making a kind of fun. She's not actually calling her servant lord. She's just making fun of him. Servant, madam, there is a lighted at your gate. Means someone has come at your gate. A young Venetian. Venetian means a person from Venice. One that comes from, what the, one that comes before to signify the approaching of his lord. So he's a forespearer or a messenger who has come here, you know, to deliver the arrival, to deliver the message that his master will soon arrive. From he bring him, from whom he bringeth sensible regrets. So he says here, he, he's actually, you know, he has got nice greetings and nice gifts from his master as well. To wit, and that is to say, besides comments and courteous prep, means the way he comes, the way he speaks or presents or the, the way he is bringing the gifts, it is actually being kind of him. Gifts of rich value. And these are the gifts of rich value. Yet I have not seen so lightly an ambassador of love. So he says here, I have never seen such an ambassador of love. A day in April never came so sweet. So he says here, a day like this, a day in April never came so sweet. To show how costly summer was at hand, as this forspurrer comes before his Lord. So he says here, this forspurrer shows how rich or how good his, his master would be. Portia, no more I pray thee. I am half afraid thou wilt say, Anna, he's some kin to thee. So she says, oh, no more of it. Please do not appreciate so much about this unknown suitor. And please, I fear that you might even say that he's some kind of a relative to you. Thou spendest such high day wit in praising him. Come, come, Nerissa, for I long to see. Quick Cupid's pose that comes so mannerly. So she tells Nerissa, come Nerissa, I really wish to see this person who is coming like this. I really wish to see who is this messenger of love. Nerissa, Bassanio, Lord, love, if thy will it be. So she says here, what she feels is that it might be Bassanio, right, who is come, who's coming like this, filled with love. After this, we have Act 3, Scene 1. And it's an important scene again. It, it is a nice scene. See, uh, in your English literature, again, you'll be getting MCQs. You'll get MCQs. So the best thing is just go through the lines. You won't get proper questions. You won't have to write answers. So in MCQs, make sure that you do mark the correct answer. Go through every speech carefully. Act 3, I'm sorry, Act 2, Scene 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They're very important. Go through them very nicely. Right? We have done Act 2, Scene 9. And then we have Act 3, Scene 1. We'll continue with Act 3, Scene 1 in the next video. I just want you to go through these scenes, read them nicely, and learn them. Right? You'll be getting questions not from the questions somewhere else but of course questions from the speeches itself 
Okay, that is it for today. Fine, I'll send you the other video.